All right, September the 4th, 2020 it is. Um, this is going to be about the library. This is going to be about the library in City Ostrava in the Czech Republic. Uh, the audio recording I have relates to, in fact, September the 4th, 2020. Here it is. This is what it is. Here it is. And I'm going to give you the excerpt uh, so you can hear, you can listen. Uh, see for yourself this is nothing and I mean really really nothing even if you go to the internet and you would eventually try to find information about this libraries in, in Ostrava you wouldn't get one you wouldn't get one because I was promised by librarians I was promised by the mayor we are not going to give you we're not going to give you um we know there's no way we're not going to give it to you the information you're going to have to find one you know you're going to have to find one and this and that and you know how i am by the character i don't really care about you know who said what to me because i deem that this is this is uh, i i deem that these people are really mistaken about the whole thing this is what might be actually game for them is really really not game for me for them, it might be exciting, interesting. Uh, it was work they they invested into this stuff, but you see, to me, this is all nonsense, nonsense, a total nonsense. And a little while ago, I said to myself, "Man, you know, especially when your time short, what are you gonna be bothering yourself?" Sebastian I said to myself, "What are you gonna bother with all this stuff? Just go and get that from the internet." You know, and then I reminded myself of uh, a gentleman and this is all right this is he okay this is this is the one this is Daniel Smith all right I just came across this photo thanks to this gentleman right here and I can tell you this is legitimate this is he okay uh, properly holds the cigarettes no. It's exactly the type of outlets he used at this particular occasion when we were board a train. And uh, I had no idea where we went, to tell you the truth. Was it from Poland? Where the hell we went? It was to many other locations, too. Uh, even the shoes, I think honestly, he made them dirty for me just to remind me of absolutely everything. Um, absolutely everything. He is slim, all right, like this. Everything, everything is there. Facial characteristics, everything is there. Even the way he holds this paw right here. Good looking paw anyways. Well. So I said to myself, man, all right, he would say, not he would say, he said, he told me that, he told me that, he said to me, if you're going to go and look for the libraries in the from the past, um, yeah, but that's, that's cheating, that's cheating. And because he invested so much time and effort, energy into it, this I will really do it for him otherwise I wouldn't even probably bother I definitely wouldn't bother myself but to me I feel that it was really really meaningful to him so I'm gonna do it because of him all right so this is this is dedicated to you Daniel um, even if you look through the internet this is from the library system from Ostrava. You would probably land on the same page like the case was with the Belarus. Where you cannot even get any kind of Google Maps or anything like this. But in Ostrava they don't give you any information about what, where the libraries were in the past. This is just the main library wherever it was always located. And then the new library. This one here. Which was built in according to what is written here I just briefly went over 
there you go in 2005 essential information also so i already got in confirmation right from here from the audio recording from september the 4th 2020 when i did this in czech republic in ostrava that will confirm that anyhow that i have very deep knowledge from the past about About whatever, whatever, whatever went on in 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 Ostrava, and I'm going to start with this one here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you: 1995, definitely 96. You know, we would just walk in here, and we would go like all the way back here. You know. Um, I can give a description of what the hell was inside like. Um, even the door, I'm gonna tell you, I think the door was like something like here, like this. Alright. This building is not new. This is not a new building or anything like this. This is just a building that is remodeled and it was Donald Trump. It was like, Whoa, what I did, man. Um, look at me you know he boasted 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 and that's where he would bring me time and time and time and time and again because he got a compliment from others well, wow, what i did you know look you know he didn't do it. donald trump is a piece of work he's just a piece of work built made by the man like this that you see right there including his outfit pants and everything behavior they did uh, a thorough job on this man they did a very very thorough job they this is just a man just uh i'm gonna say very ordinary but this is a zero and, you know however he did became very attentive of the people like this here this man this stuff look this is what you see here this is the kind of guys that basically engineered me in many ways it's a nice little stick uh, and Donald Trump got the opportunity to also pick something from them too the only bad thing is he didn't pick good stuff but he did according to my opinion a lot of stupid stuff I think that at one point in time a library eventually was located here and actually even in the back of this building in the rear um, this here is actually totally mystery to me what the hell was in there but this was one of the first building that got renovated and I think that the job was complete sometimes in 99 not past that and it was not past that 2000 the latest and it was Donald Trump that was really like wow you know uh, your building looks okay I mean it looks all right I'm not gonna deny that's an interesting issue uh, and at the end of this stuff I'm gonna come back to one just to give you like a total total impression about how I felt when I was brought like this to Ostrava you know. this was a library in my opinion definitely was a library that was the last one that closed down so this one here doesn't go to time as early as this this library here this one eventually closed sometimes in yeah you know i estimate even 2006 maybe 2008 i would say that's basically what i would say yeah i'm gonna go back here because i want to give you impression about what it felt like to be brought to the czech republic and so on and so forth I definitely want to do this I want to put this into this house right there now so the 
this here what the hell was this I'm not sure I'm not sure if this was the library but I know that this here that that this thing here this was remodeled I estimate in about 97 98 this thing here we would be coming here to this floor here to the third floor whatever the hell was up there all right I don't know what what was up there and then the mo business moved here it says laser uh, whatever it says all right I don't even know um, so I kind of estimate that possibility that one of the libraries also was here just a little earlier prior to remodelation of almost simultaneously with building that you have seen but just maybe a year earlier is what this building here was remodeled i think this is was the one renovated i'm not sure which one the hell was uh, let me see this let me just make sure about this stuff i'm not sure to tell you the truth i'm not sure uh but i know it was on the other side all right Yeah, let me see what I see. Well, this is the stuff I already have stated, and I have pointed out three locations. I am definitely dying, doing too well here. This is the impression I want to give you, but let me see something else here. Okay. Uh, this we have already seen this stuff let's make sure Going about this whereabouts just like that, it's not so damn easy, this stuff. I'll be honest with you. This here, not. This, according to me, more a waste of money than anything else. They were really, really proud to present me with this stuff. But this this is sometimes that came they came up with, in like in, I think, in like in 2004. This was like a relatively late uh totally new structure i estimate or they did like such a remodelation that i have no idea what the hell they have done this is like a theater inside and stuff like that all right it didn't make uh, i don't know what kind of impression on me uh boring sorry i never was into this kind of stuff okay but let me just see if I can see something, some other stuff that I was going to show you. Here, let me see. I kind of miss, I think, important information. No, I actually regret. Okay, let it be then in that case. Just got to make sure that I'm not going to do a mistake because I recorded this several times and I made a mistake and no, that's not cool. From either way, you're going to turn that. Okay, let me go back here. made a mistake almost but not quite
one of the buildings I know of uh, was was like an older building you know it was like an older building too I'm gonna demonstrate in a little bit I'm gonna show you what exactly that more or less felt but I want to give you an idea what the hell I felt about when I was brought here finish the school had a good profession, good money should be capable to find a chick very easily and have a good life uh, I was brought to Poland and to the Czech Republic to literally steer the walls man no, I am seriously dead serious about this stuff. And when I saw this thing here, you know, when you, when you did this MK Ultra stuff, when you go over these locations, it's like you would be meeting people again. You you would hear them, not hear them talking to you, but yeah, I mean, you could hear them talking to you. Literally, you can repeat their words that was said to you. Literally, almost feel like you could hear them. I don't hear anybody, but it kind of feels like. You know, you were right there and you could hear them talking. You don't hear them. I don't hear anybody talking. I don't do that stuff. You see these walls and stuff. And think about these old buildings. Boring as hell. No. I mean, seriously. No. It really looks good. All right. But before, you have no idea. All right. And now you're brought here. And you gotta stare at these buildings, the walls, literally. Alright. And next to you, it's oftentimes they would have beautiful girls that there was always really beautiful chicks around. You know, they would always have chicks around. Good looking women. And boy. Do you think I did pay attention to this stuff like this? I was I was like extremely unhappy customer. I if I could run away I would, but they wouldn't let me run away. Really they wouldn't let me go. Um there was no way, man. And these girls they were like actually they 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 started to see themselves like part of this stuff like even actually gesturing me like I noticed that you're looking at me and this and that and before that the other girl noticed the same thing and you're not paying attention to um you know to to what let's say Daniel is telling you this and that and we spoke about that and we said we're not gonna be uh, around you anymore and this and that and tra la 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 and it's like really punishment more than you possibly can believe this is so the worst punishment about this stuff is this is like if you ever heard saying brain is a terrible whatever thing to waste this is basically what was all the time on my mind and yeah i if i only had opportunity this is this was a real torture this is more torture than you possibly can imagine no even I have this photo here right in front of me. Um, now I actually realize the value of this torture. Um, or I should say, I'm not going to call this torture because of this guy. This guy was doing more than his job. This guy was... Redem this guy set redemption for something else. And he saw himself in me more than what many people would you know he was out there he sought to help me out he really was not a person that would want to hurt me or something like this he hoped for the best and was an optimist and um, sometimes he had a really really deep crisis about all this stuff because of my attitude because of um, because what he believed that the whole thing is not going anywhere and uh, he's getting older and um, I'm just I was becoming more stupid and uh, you never know you know and the money and this and that you never know from which side you know 
his health suffered too and so on and so forth um, it became really difficult for him really uh, difficult to put up with this stuff I, I can tell you that he's holding this uh, Paul here his uh, Damine he's, he's, he's like really really uh, proud of it is he did exactly what he said he would do um, and I'm just glad that the moment like this came for him in one way I'm gonna tell you but on the other way I gotta tell you man that that this they would leave me sometimes at three four five days staring they would bring me to the hospital in Luj and leave me just for like the whole week over there from Florida they would bring me and I would be inside of the room with the patients with the people that were having some kind of whatever kind of uh, problem injuries and stuff like this and I would be inside with them over there drugged up and uh, this was just complete bullshit excuse me uh, even the nurses uh, even the chief of that rehabilitation of that hospital lost it uh, with Donald Trump with Americans because it was it was totally purposeless and totally inhumane shit that went on all right so I just want you to understand that this is this is just not uh, you know I think everybody understood that this this was so effed up that you possibly could not imagine now yeah. what a waste what a way to waste, you know, not only your brain, but, you know, your life, literally. This is how I lost 26 years of life. Later on, I ended up inside of the mental hospitals, jobless, um, persecuted. No, I cannot record anything like this. No. And this all for the people who, did, who steer this shit, basically. People you see on a political stages today. This is a horrendous, horrific crime the worst you possibly can imagine so there was another building uh i hope i did redeem myself a little bit to smith to mr daniel uh by doing what i did right now i didn't i didn't chip stick i didn't i didn't try to i didn't forget you and this is the main thing let me just see some let me just give a quick impression about what the other building the other building one of the buildings i'm just picking this randomly all right one of the buildings one of the libraries also looked like was something like this some older building all right that's all i can tell you um this is the side of the building now what you're about to let me just make sure Whoop! I didn't do this well. Let's go back. One of the buildings that uh, a library was located in was an older building like this, a really pretty building. This is not what I'm saying the building is. Just one of them was. I think Mr. Smith told me there were all together three buildings. All right, there were three buildings in Ostrava. Um, but maybe even more, maybe even four. Maybe he alone already had a problem to account them all. But a better teacher than this man here, you possibly could not get. I think that I did deserve right now to get once with this Paul here because this man actually really counted for everything better than anybody else did he would be extremely extremely meticulous about everything really with a precision uh, he would go you know thanks man about to help me uh, new the new library is this one here all right this is 
in a parenthesis new. You're going to hear the recording. Of course, I made a mistake right now. Okay, let me just get out and see the. That's a tank you see right there. I'm going to go here. And um, I want you to pay attention to this. Right there. This was also dedicated to my BS. No. This was dedicated to the, all the brave men and women that gave life for this country, which tradition I hope will continue. But I was the one who steered so much shit, according to the storytellers of Ostrava, especially of the experts in the new library, which all of them I know. In general, there shouldn't be a single librarian from the past that I could somehow not recognized now either the mayor did or Bobbage did uh, they did switch the people good back and forth uh, they tried to set me up also with the staff here with the cleaning staff and so on it was all kinds of dirty play that went on uh, not everything really was gold or silver even that it shined was a lot of trap along the way but it's all the stuff I did identify before all this stuff yeah pr practically I can go and I could go almost from door to door and identify over the time the whole city believe me I <laughs> if I put my brain to this stuff um, and I do have a brain map about this city a time map about the city inside of my brain this is just to confirm more about MK Ultra that went on. Um, so, at this opportunity, I am going to resort myself to the audio recording from September the 4th, 2020, and let's see what exactly have I managed to bring upon on a second day in Ostrava city about the situation, about the libraries in in Ostrava. At that point in time, I have to admit to you, uh, it didn't came to me there were more than one library. Okay? Uh, but right now, as I went over, uh, again, thanks to this man here that you see. See, I should have had his picture already before that. It's a good luck for me. And I hope I'll be good luck for him too. Um, it, 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 it helped me out to, to actually concentrate, to put my brain to work, employ them eventually. Let's go to the audio recording and let's see what I did on September the 4th, 2020. That's me. Tick, 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 tick.
Let's do this again. All right, I am 100% sure that I set the year, the number, the everything. What I will do is I'll give you a recording separately. The gentleman agrees, 2005. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty damn sure to the last millimeter. The lady is so damn loud over there, but the gentleman confirms me yes. It doesn't matter because at the same time, simultaneous with this library, which was remodeled, rebuilt, uh, the building, uh, a tank came to life. This here, the memorial on the other side. This, this thing here. That's why I took you for a ride to see this statue here. They put this statue here because the racism, the discrimination, like I said, it exploded. I already have explained these issues about Mr. Donald Trump. What, you know, he was proud about that building over there that his architects did. Um, and I got to congratulate. It's really state of the art. They they managed to cure his, he was, he was, he was a much worse piece of work, Mr. Donald Trump, than what you see is today. All right. He was very unimpressive, man. This is a very unimpressive man. He is at least somewhat doing much better than we did. Uh, and so he never mentions about what he did in Czech Republic and what he did with the Poland, with the population, what, what kind of a civil war he, his present cost, what he did. So basically that's that, I pointed out that in 2005 both were at the same time they did basically. They put this, I remember, uh, basically the, the library, they were really, really proud about the library, about this library. Um, that was one of the things. And at the same time, they told me this, and it was almost kind of a yelling at me, right? It was almost a little bit hysterical. No, we are not this, and we are not happy with this, and we are not happy with that. Uh, and uh, because of what you did, that was already before. That was mayor of Australia. <laughs> he already uh, yelled. He was already very, very unhappy about all this stuff. Uh, he was telling me about this stuff, that the way they feel, that I don't even know what happened here and this and that. Uh, and um, I, uh, I was listening at him over there when I was drugged up at the MK Ultra that he was talking to me about this thing. And uh, I didn't know what I would do. I would hug him and say, good, good job, man, whatever you did, right? This is the way to go, whatever. Uh, but as, as contradictory as, a, as I was and the distance that these people had and the way they talked to me about it, it, it wouldn't make any sense anyways. But I'll tell you today, you did a good job. Thanks, man. Uh, Australia is a better looking place today than what it was. And thanks to you, uh, I am thinking about that would be the same thing that should be done also here in the city of the Novo Mesto in Slovenia. So good job on that congratulations all right i like it very much i don't know if donald trump likes it but i know i do all right um let's continue with this i am i i said to him i said to him it's it's more i have to think about it's more i have to think about I tell him, uh, 
I have to think about more. I will return back. I have to see it. Uh, and I will come back to you and I will ask you more to learn more about it, right? And so what I do is I walk back and forth, I look this and that, and I recall the things, right? That's basically what I said that whether I'm even looking like this when you when you see like this through through the Google Maps, it's not that you hear the people. I don't hear any people, but you know it makes you feel like you know when when you when you're when you when you remind yourself of something, you, it makes you kind of feel like as if almost uh, you know. You could hear that person saying, and you see one, basically, almost, you know, you can imagine that, that, you know, you hear one and see one. That's basically the strength. No, but I cannot hear anybody, and I cannot see anybody. But, you know, that's basically how the memory works. Uh, for that matter, too, I have to thank to Mr. Daniel Smith to be very, very explicit, to, to, to explain in very in details so that would not be a mistake he was talking to him about all that stuff to pay attention to, to to all that stuff so thank you sir or through i am not an easy catch in any way but still he was so detailed that he would be talking to me about all that stuff and i'm just being clear about how punctual this man was i mean how how you know his attention to detail when he was doing this with me I like I like your library. I say nice, nice. I say I remember everything. The lady is laughing. Of course, everybody knows me. I think. At nine to six. In '97. Ah, that was kind of stupid. There were at least three others. I already have pointed out. It was closed, yes, it was closed. It is. I tell her where the Carolina was. However, I'm very cautious with that stuff, and I add to that, not where the Carolina is now, but Nedaleco, not too far from here, and there's a whole bunch of locations I have already pointed out, and Carolina is this here. What you see here, I was here from the very first day when it all this started to build. Uh, I also know the people that worked inside, however, the Ostrava was really, really, really the city I hoped I'm going to land the job. And because of the Fujitsu people, which for the most part were good, but they did some serious, serious uh, stuff that they really, really shouldn't some. Uh, I didn't dare to to push into into the stores here and ask about inquire about who works where and this the Jew la da da I don't want I didn't want to be strange. They would bring me here right in front of Carolina the Carolina you see right there you see these names here ABB Verizon uh, Cheska whatever and so on and they would tell me I wouldn't be no strange if I would be looking for the job I would just 
be really really careful i would not even stand here i would not nobody would even see me i would just walk through i would not even stop and look on the telephone for directions anywhere and stuff like this this is the kind of bs they were they were brainwashing me with because you're being watched and you're not going to get a job and this and that and it was all about the damn job and i'm not sure whether i did identify this stuff already or i did not yeah i did not yet but i will get to that stuff um Fujitsu people would come here totally, totally, totally all the damn time from Lodge. I would come with them, with the Fujitsu people. And the reason for my coming here, and it's also what I have identified uh, when at Fujitsu in Lodge, I asked one of the girls. Uh, I insisted because she got a new job in Britain where I also was with her. She dated a British dude and uh, and it just happened so that um, that dude was a politician and this and that and they wanted to find her a job and this and that and they did. Make no mistake about that. I went with her also to the Britain and or maybe she went with me because this is what was a frequent round to London anyways all the time. And as I came to Fujitsu in 2019 and it was just like she said it would be um, she would get a job in Britain even better so they would be watching everything and that she would look good and this and that and they would call her and she would get the job and stuff like this All right. I am happy she did I hope she has a great time uh, this is an IT company too and this one is in Australia in the Czech Republic, you see. So this is what I have described her initially would be the building that uh, we were together in London. Uh, but it was not in London. It was in Ostrava, actually. You know, that kind of stuff, folks. Um, definitely undisputable. There is some more to this stuff. Uh, obviously I remember you <laughs> the lady was I don't know probably these people that I'm talking I don't know 30 years librarian since from forever basically veterans I mean veterans classics You see, I, 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 t I tell her, I'm interested in the details that somebody cannot doubt about it. Like, when I say, like, at the same time, at the same year, the same thing, that the memorial was placed same time as they would open this library and this and that. Uh, that's the kind of stuff when the library would be renovated. That's the kind of stuff, the building, that they would renovate this building and open it. And they would bring me there, and this is now the new library, and we also have this statue now is completed and this and that we have also completed this it was like very very electrified time you know um and so this is a stuff simultaneously a new library simultaneously a statue this with a tank with this that they talked about they started to get really nervous about this views uh on their past world war ii past uh, and they were like, uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if I made them feel uh, so uncomfortable in a way that, uh, you know, maybe they experience some anxiety or something like that. But today I'm actually really, really proud about your memorial that you have over there. It's really beautiful. Again, I have to give you this. And I would like to have... Not exactly like this. We cannot afford here in this city. It's not as big as Ostrava. But if you could just dedicate to our people here that were executed by Italians, by the Germans, actually on a main square here in the city, a nice little memorial for our future generations, that would be just really the right thing to do. I'm not going to say beautiful, but the only right thing to do so we don't forget our past. So there you have it, 2005, two things simultaneously, 
new library open and memorial dedicated to the Czech resistance um, to the Red Army or whatever um, liberation of Ostrava and so on and so forth that's a beautiful thing and um, people of course recognize people the same people always in the system some of the ladies uh, you would not miss them boy in in a million years because they, they were younger and I remember them since 96 97 uh, I remember Americans boy they were hot 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 in this and that and they were becoming and looking at these ladies and try to date them and I don't know what it would be like really um, impossible to forget them I was up there I did point it out there was another library close to Carolina and in addition to that I went ahead and I pointed out you were able to see what I pointed out for you and even if that was not the library then you will consider what I stated to you about remodeling and stuff like this by the way this building here let me see this here this what you see here this was like the the last one that undergone because this this was always like the best looking building and it was like it was like uh the last one that that they started to work on it based on what i see here that's why that's why i also just happened to be the last one that would i guess that uh, they would uh, they would get out of one in that sense okay let me let me let me just hear this once again Oh yeah, I didn't want to pay them for the computer 10 crowns, I don't know, for the day or something like that, or for a few minutes. I have my own computer after all. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, goodbye. I walk out at this point in time, I don't say anything smart, but I do comment right there. Here again, the same thing like in uh, Havupki, Old Havupki. I have identified the library that was in 96 and 97, and then it was closed. So what I want to do is I want to talk about 96, I want to talk about 97. I'm not interested in talking about 10, 15 years ago. I want 96, 97. Yeah but i am gonna separate this audio recording which is going to prove that i did point it out that the new library in fact was open along with a statue in year 2005. this is just the way it is this here it's a little bit trouble It's a possibility, uh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. 
uh, we have to be very detailed. It's a possibility that I actually say in 2003 that I did not point out in 2005. So that's for two years. Well, you can easily forgive me for that matter. Uh, the building, yes, of course, the building is like this. So I might, I have probably made a mistake for two years. I did not say in 2005, but in 2003, listen, this is, this is, uh, I'm gonna say as good as it gets. Not that I wanna, I, I'm, you know, completely perfect, I'm not, but this is, this is as good as it gets, yeah. What, what's going on here with this stuff here? You see this here, this is a old building, this thing here that you see here. All right, so this here was completely, completely remodeled, all this stuff. All this stuff was remodeled, you know. This was a big, big, big job they did. All this stuff was remodeled. They make it more beautiful, this. I will never forget the, here the gate when they made it. The gates, they would demonstrate me uh, details like this. Here, here supposed to be. Let me see this here. It was not on this. No. For every bridge, they would take me. Whether they would make uh, like a stairway down, whatever they would do, they would keep updating me. Whatever they were doing, basically, you know, they did a lot of work. They did. They invested a lot in helping me out. So, I also want to say, like this. Um, Whoa, you did not even see that, but I want to say like this to the Czech Republic as well. So, I want to say thank you to Czech Republic as well. People were enthusiastic and very much motivated in helping me out. Uh, as evil as I was, I did not even know why. No, but they probably figured out that I might not be such an evil person after all. Okay, so I made a mistake, not in 2003. Uh, as I stated, but okay, in 2005. But this here fixed the impression. Statue at the same time as the library. You know, statue and library at the same time. Eventually, maybe the statue just a little later, maybe six months later or something like that in that sense. Or maybe even one year later or something in that sense. Okay. Well, that's basically, folks, as good as it gets. This was recording from September the 4th 2020 from Czech Republic from Ostrava uh, thanks to everybody um, for helping me out and uh, to you for watching this program which undisputably proves my presence in Europe when supposedly I never was there and I definitely was Till next time.